In April of 2022, I married the love of my life in our home county of Cornwall. And we decided to have our honeymoon in the Scottish capital of Edinburgh. So here's our honeymoon story. Push the suitcase. After you, this is darling. Graves out there. Yeah. It's gonna be haunted. <laughs> After checking into our hotel room, we decided to have a little roam around to see if we could find anywhere to eat on our first night. I don't know what it is, but whenever we check into a hotel room, we always trash the place. The next day, it looked like a bomb had gone off. The problem with the honeymoon package that the hotel gave us was that the rose petals actually ended up staining everything. Staining the carpet. You know how bad these stains are in the bed? Can you give me a bin, please? Our second day there, which was technically our first full day, we decided to visit Edinburgh Castle, which was only about a 20 minute walk from our hotel. It's up there, right? Mate. That's the same cheers mate, so he knew we were British. Do you remember those little like machines that you could get when you were a kid and you put a penny in it and you put like a pound in it and you could turn the wheel and it would flatten out the penny and you'd end up with a, a picture of, of the area that you were in? Well, we attempted that. One pound and one penny. You gotta spin the wheel. Yeah, what one do you want? Well, you gotta choose one. Yeah. Just spin it. Um. Edinburgh Castle?
about the garden? What was on the garden? I went on the rocks. Oh. Well, you can sort of enjoy it, thank you very much. After a few hours of wandering around Edinburgh Castle, which I would highly recommend by the way, we visited Edinburgh's Camera Obscura and World of Illusions. It was technically just a museum of optical illusions. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're walking through it, yeah. it kind of feels like you are falling to the side. Or like the little bit's moving. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god! Why, why does it feel like it's going around? Uh, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? evening we decided to go out for like the poshest meal that we could probably find. You ready? And for me, if a place has got one of those revolving doors, it's fairly posh. Revolving door. My plan is to have a Negroni every night on our honeymoon. This is night number two. They all taste the same. Barefoot, eh? Hey, you're actually well walking barefoot through the corridors. <laughs> the next day we found the best place for breakfast. After breakfast we did some more touristy stuff and we went to the Edinburgh Tunnels. Hearing any 
noises behind there because the wall was completely solid right the way through. As you can see now, it's not. It's actually part of a gigantic pathway. They didn't find anyone living down here, but they did find a vault filled with clamshells, uh, chicken bones, and I think beer bottles. Just watch your feet as well. Yeah. Wow. Well, we want to watch where you walk in. Not a great start. <laughs> I tried to film as much as this as I possibly could, but to be honest, it was so dark in there, I had to just take some photos. There's a lot of history involved in these tunnels, and it actually makes you realise how lucky we are to be alive in these times. They went through a lot. Okay, so, as you come through, tour guide actually did this bit where he like completely scared Kate. They took us into this completely dark room, there was no candles or anything, and then he just jumped out and scared the girls. He divided the guys on one side, so the men from the women, and the women were stood on the other side, sort of all huddling together. I was mad because she was saying it didn't like women, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You were like, I'm going against this, this is misogyny, how dare me? But anyway, Kate got so scared, we had to go to a Christmas shop afterwards. <laughs> And then we just went out for some more food. Don't think I've ever eaten as much as I did on this honeymoon. That's the Scottish Parliament there. Did you find the, uh, the tour really scary? Not really. I obviously had to end the night with another Negroni though. I nearly didn't get my uh, Negroni today. <laughs> and then just like that, it was our final day in Edinburgh. Kate's in the hotel spa, so it gives me about a couple of hours just to uh, reflect on this week in Edinburgh. I mean, I, I, I'm not normally the sort of person that would that enjoys sort of city breaks. I'm not the sort of city break kind of guy, but we've both completely fallen in love with Edinburgh. For me, it's probably all of the history, like all of the old buildings. You know, there's just so much to do. The initial plan was that we were actually gonna take some day trips, that's why we drove here. But to be honest, we've not left Edinburgh once. And after our five days here, we're actually probably gonna come back. And whilst Kate was having a spa day, there was absolutely no way I wasn't gonna go for at least one swim on this honeymoon. I just realised Kate would probably kill me if she knew that I was in here with my wedding ring on. It's like when you're not used to wearing something and then all of a sudden you've just got it there, and you just forget to take it off. I've really got to try when I'm back out snorkeling not to lose it in the sea. So I realised that I, uh, I didn't pack any dry shorts to wear back to my room, so I'm just wearing a towel. If this falls down, I've got nothing on. And that was it. We spent the rest of our time just eating. We found this really nice place that did pizza outside and there was live music. I was lost in a city dream And I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me and you saw me and smiled. And then Kate had this like idea that she really wanted to go to this place that just served dessert. I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded Bye, Apex Hotel. You made it out. But 
all in all. Edinburgh, we loved you. We thought you were fantastic. We will be back. I do think next time we'll fly, though. Is it possible for us to feel this way forever?